What's up everyone, Grant Daddy here. Hope you guys are doing well today. For this weekend's video, I'm going to show you how to get an achievement on the new Black Ops 2 Zombies map called Buried. The achievement I'm going to show you is Awaken the Gazebo, and that is to pack a punch a weapon on round Enough one. Walking for um, today. It's pretty challenging, so be ready for that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it solo. There are some videos out there showing you how to do it in co-op, and I found another video I'm going to put in the description. Uh, the guy shows you how to do it solo as well. Uh, his way is a little bit different, um, and I had a hard time getting through the mansion with the witches um, on his way. So the way I'm going to show you is using the time bomb, um, and this way will allow you to take a weapon with you into the mansion. Um, so you can actually defend yourself. But again, that description or that link is in the description um, of this video. All right, so to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is spawn in, jump down the hole, and draw this weapon on the wall. Um, and you're going to use this thousand points to uh, spin the box. Um, now the catch to my way, guys, is you need to uh, get the time bomb within your first two spins of the box. Um, and if you don't spin a weapon. Um, or you don't spin uh, the time bomb, you need to uh, back out and restart. I know that sounds frustrating, uh, but I was able to get the time bomb within the first six or seven tries of restarting. Uh, to me, that was a little easier than some of the other ways, like building the um, trample steam and doing all the different jumps. Um, this way allows me to actually get a better weapon to take with me into the mansion. Um, in this case, I lucked out and I got the uh, Mark II. Um, so... Uh, I know you might get frustrated, um, but you know I just wanted to show you guys a different way to get this achievement. Um, so again, if you draw something like monkeys to begin with, you might as well back out and restart because you really need a weapon um, out of the box um, and the time bomb. Uh, once you get your time bomb, go ahead and save your spot. I usually make sure there's two zombies left in round one and then save my spot. Um, and after you save with the time bomb, you can go ahead and kill the remaining zombies and go ahead and progress through round two. Alright, so now that you've gone through round two, uh, the first door you want to open is the general store. Uh, this the first one I opened. Now, I actually built the trample steen. Um, but you don't need to. Uh, I actually wasted some time. I was going to try it out and see uh, see if it would help me in any way, and it really didn't help me. Uh, so go ahead and open the general store, um, and then come down here and let uh, Huckleberry out. Um, that's going to be your next step. And then once you let Huckleberry out, come on over and open up the uh, saloon. So after you've opened up the saloon, you'll probably need to kill some more zombies and move through some more rounds. Um, once you get to a good point where you got some money saved up, um, go ahead and find the booze and get Huckleberry over to the gunsmith shop and open it up. Now here's the thing guys, you don't want to get any of those weapons off the wall yet. You need to leave them there, you don't want to draw any more weapons, uh, just do everything that I do that I'm showing you. Um, from there, you need to open up the next barrier in the saloon um, and come on over and while you're here, jump across and turn on the power. Now the power stays on even when you use the time bomb at the end, um, but you always want to double check that because you don't want to get all the way to the end and have the Pack-a-Punch pack machine not work because you forgot to turn the power on. So double check that guys, make sure it's on. Uh, you don't want to shoot Huckleberry like I did there because you'll end up searching for the key and waste some more time. Um, but it happens, I understand. Um, so here's, I'm just showing you guys this. So this is kind of where I, uh, I start to train the zombies through the round. So it helps me stay alive. And what I do is I get them all in this beginning area and kind of funnel them through, funnel them through uh, this real narrow passageway. As long as you're on some low round, they usually don't spawn back behind you. Um, so that's just something that will help you stay alive uh, and help you progress through all these steps. Alright, so the next step is to make sure you have uh, 1250 points. 
uh, and then go through the general store. There's the trample steam I really didn't have much use for. Go through the general store and open up the courthouse. Um, it is important to make sure you have 1250 points right there or else you won't be able to get back over until you open that up. Uh, so make sure before you jump down from the general store that you do have 1250 points so you can uh, open up the courthouse and uh, keep moving forward. I have procured a key. Just what an unlocks remains a mystery. <laughs> Alright guys, lucky for me, I was able to find a key uh, to get Huckleberry back out of the cage from shooting him. Um, and the next thing you're going to want to do is grab some booze and head on over to the church. Um, at this point, you really don't need any more points yet, so I recommend once you open up the uh, courthouse to go ahead and find some booze. Um, and go ahead and come on over to the church um, and open it up. And I'll actually skip through this so you don't have to wait for Huckleberry to get all the way over here because he's a little bit slow. <clears throat> Alright, so now you're going to need to move, some, move through some more rounds. Um, I actually ended up having to buy a weapon because I ran out of ammo for my uh, ray gun, which isn't a big deal. Um, but again, I'm just showing you here. It's a little bit higher up in rounds. You see how fast they are. Um, you can kind of funnel them through and use the saloon to your advantage. Uh, you do have to watch your back though because every now and then one will spawn behind you. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, and once you get to this point, guys, you really need to... Uh, make sure you have a crawler because the zombies are moving faster now um, and it's really hard to get Huckleberry over to the last barrier um, to get him to break it down um, if you have the fast zombies around so uh, definitely make a crawler and um, what you're gonna want to do is grab the last thing of booze that you're gonna need and head back over to the mansion <coughs> and open it up and you should have if you've gone through a round or two more you should have 1250 points at least uh, that's what you're going to need to open the mansion uh, it's very important that you do not go into the mansion right there just open it up and go ahead and turn around um, and just double check everything make sure you got everything good that's kind of what i did here i just went back checked everything um, and then i'm going to activate the time bomb Alright, so you see here I activated the time bomb and I am back to round one. Uh, and from here what you're going to want to do is start grabbing the weapons off the wall and uh, go ahead and draw them in all the locations. I won't show you me running to every location, but I will show you um, where all the locations are um, to draw weapons. Uh, and right here, I'm just double checking the power, <clears throat> make sure that uh, that it's on, because again, don't want to get over to pack a punch and not have any power. So right here, I'm going to show you something that I thought of actually in this moment of playing um, playing the game. Um, you don't want to knife the zombies in round one. I know I said I left two, I accidentally left three. Um, but if I were to knife them and they had a nuke, uh, it would have gone off and it would have ended the whole round. So uh, if you're at this point, definitely shoot the zombies and kill them uh, if you want to. You don't even have to uh, at this point. but. Um, 
if you like I, like I said if you knife and you end up getting a nuke then you've just wasted this whole first part of all the progress you've made all right so here is the last chalk that I'm drawing and it will actually give me 2,000 because all the chalks are uh, drawn on the wall um, that still doesn't help me if I get hit by a witch I will go down to 4,000 and I won't be able to complete the achievement. Um, so you just need to be real careful. Hopefully the box was good to you and gave you a, a decent gun like it did me. Um, and they will spawn behind you. So the witches that is, they will spawn behind you. So what you want to do is just keep moving forward. Um, I know I stopped to reload too early here and I about, about screwed myself. But um, you want to make sure that you continue to move forward. I can't say that enough because if you stop too long they'll come behind you and uh, really ruin your day. Um, right here I was so close to not getting out I didn't even worry about reloading. I just went ahead and uh, went to full sprint mode and I know there would be two more witches that came out but I really thought I'd be able to find my way through the mansion here and I think every time I've played this and made it to the maze uh, I was able to find it on the first like go round, but it took me forever. It felt like to find uh, to find the way to the pack a punch, and I mean I'm literally sweating right now trying to get trying to get through the maze, and I just decided to go ahead and kill the rest of the witches. Um, and I didn't know if you could get the achievement if you got a perk. So you'll see here when I kill the final witch, they give me a perk. Um, I choose not to get it because. I've come this far. I don't. I think it's okay to have perks. Uh, you still get the achievement. I think you just can't use the bank and you can't use the uh, refrigerator to get a weapon um, to get the achievement. So, let's see, I finally find my way. I'm still sweating it, man, because I don't want to. Once you get to this point, you really don't want to screw up. Um, so yeah, I was, I was pretty nervous. At the same time, I was pretty excited because I knew I was getting pretty close. <clears throat> and again, I think you could have fallen down those holes. Um, but I just want to take every precaution. Uh, so here I am, finally getting the achievement. Um... That's just one of many ways to do this, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Um, and to end the video, I'm going to uh, end it the way uh, I failed at my last video. Uh, if you watch that, you'll see I, I broke down the fountain. I was curious. I'd never seen that before. I was like, oh, what's this? Uh, jumped down and killed myself. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I appreciate all the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. Um, and I shall see you guys soon.